Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, we are taking a look at Tesla, NEO, and NVIDIA. So let's take a look at important key levels, the price section, the patterns, and let's identify what in coming days, especially for tomorrow, can we expect these stocks to be doing and what levels you can take, what type of positions. So with that, please remember, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Also, if you can hit the like and subscribe, that will be amazing. Let's begin with Tesla. So Tesla, what are we seeing today? Well, we did try to bounce, however, and we tried to bounce at our one of the levels of 239. Pretty much that's where the Tesla stock opened today. This is the bottom moving line over here. So Tesla has broken below it, right? And it's below 20, 50, and 200 days moving average as well. It doesn't really has any sign of bullishness the way the candle has closed on the daily basis today okay there's likelihood of tesla tomorrow even testing 234 but remember what i said in one of my previous videos is that the level of 234 to the level of 230 where between 50 and 20 days sorry 50 and 200 days moving average is where potentially a support level is present and if the price action holds here, this could be the place also to try to play long. Now, I'll cover a lot more things on hourly interval as well, but this is something on daily interval you have to be watching. Now, if Tesla breaks below it and start closing below this level of 229, it's game over. Tesla is then full on bearish, right? Um, but until then, this could still, uh, is if you are a bull, this is the zone you gotta be watching 230 to 234. Now, before going further, I also want to show on Tesla the short volume percent. And so even yesterday, yesterday so to, today's data will come, guys, after the market has closed. And we have yesterday as well received quite a significant short volume percent on Tesla 38. And we have been receiving like 44, 39, 42, 44, 44, so on. So short sellers are definitely piling in here. Now, yeah, just hit that because... That's all the data we want to cover on the short volume percent. Now, what else on Tesla we got to be looking? Well, let's go to the hourly interval and let's talk about that. So it's in the very last hour and two that Tesla started to sell off again. But anyways, we were going up. I'll show you in five minutes interval as well a few things. But we were going up today in the morning. And I did cover yesterday in my video that the play on Tesla is intraday long. If Tesla breaks above this bottom moving line, right, and we have only play up to 243. And that was the only play. My Even my bot gave that signal today. I'll show you just in a second. But and we did come close to the overhead resistance, but that's where I said yesterday in my video that that's only an intraday play. You have to just close out your position, whatever, right? Um, and now then after that, Tesla has started to fall as well. Now, what are we looking at tomorrow, right? So guys, it's pretty much tomorrow. I feel like Tesla will test 236 and 232, the zone of 230 to 234 i think tesla tomorrow will slip into this zone and then we'll have to see the price action again and at that point but tesla is looking weak and on the short side if it stays below this trend line the bottom trend line right if tesla goes out and above it tomorrow then it has again room to run up to 243 but remember if it does tomorrow this and goes up up tomorrow then there's a likelihood that Tesla can also go to 247 the next week, but we'll see the price action tomorrow for further plays for the next week. But right now, this is the play for tomorrow Tomorrow that you can be looking at, the levels, the areas that I just covered. Let's take a look at five minutes interval on Tesla. And you can see that just, again, like follow my levels for trading, guys. Like you can see how well it's finding the support at our levels. You trade it all the way to the next level. And then, yeah. That's pretty much it, right? Simple game. Uh, Tesla in the post market is also falling, not well, okay, no, it fell before that. So I also want to show you real quick, guys. Uh, even my day trading bot today on Tesla was good, it was profitable. So in the last 15 days, only four days has been negative, and 11 days has been pro profitable. And about my bot is like can be applied across any instrument and stock. There is no guarantee that I take, okay? It's completely your choice of using it. 
I take no financial responsibility of anything and uh, you can customize the settings on it whatever however you like now if you have if you want access to all of it the indicators the levels the short volume person my day trading part wall street alerts real time all that part is of my membership guys the links are in the description below even my discord link is in the description below if you have any questions just feel free to dm me and you will find all the information there in the description below of this video all right now let's go to neo and so guys said this was on this was on tesla and let's go to the neo now so neo unfortunately um let's go to the hourly interval first sorry daily interval first so neo unfortunately guys you know gave us a sell-off didn't quite show us the momentum to the upside and it's definitely not what we want to see um neo is though still above 20 days moving average now tomorrow is a deciding day on neo if neo can get above and stay above eight dollars and 28 cents definitely it's an upside play right and then if it breaks below 20 days moving average it's unfortunately gonna slip down to seven dollars and 93 cents okay um neo right now is at a pivoting point it's not in a bullish trend anymore though just so you remember we want to get up above $8.50 before we even start getting into the bullish setting with NEO. Right now, this is not giving us any bullish play. Uh, we definitely want to stay above this $8.28. At least tomorrow, we got to go up. If we don't go up tomorrow, then it's more likely that we're going to close below 20 days moving average. And that's a really bad bearish move on NEO, right? There's nothing much to cover on hourly interval, guys. Neo just kept falling. Like, it did go up, well, a little bit, but then, yeah, it just, you know, below 200 hours moving average, right? So, uh, this is not looking good. On hourly interval, I want Neo to first get above $8.42 as well, um, and also $8.50. Then we can start talking about upside. But this is unfortunate to see that Neo is again done its thing, right? It's just came tried to go up but then rejected and started slipping below couldn't really hold itself above it sorry 200 days moving average over here right that's unfortunate alrighty guys let's take a look at nvidia and with nvidia let's talk about what the price action is doing right now so nvidia technically guys though it's still holding this 475 dollars level it couldn't really make the higher leg up, which is about $500. Uh, it kind of slowed down, made a lower high recently. And now this is a lower low. And so more like, most likely it's gonna reject and start falling. We'll talk about that in just a second on hourly interval. Also the volume on Nvidia is not looking great. Like this is like going to very low volume here. So this is, uh, the buyers are just not there it just feels like artificially the price is being raised higher now we gotta jump to the hourly interval to talk more about nvidia here so nvidia did try to go up today um we talked about it in my previous video that if nvidia tries to go above 479 dollars this is a long play for intraday right and we got that today right that was the only the plate is still bearish though it's below 200 hours moving average that was the intraday play now tomorrow play on nvidia is that break below 478 is a short play guys to the downside and if it stays above 478 it's still a long play intraday that's an intraday play on the longer term horizon you know um nvidia as if it breaks 478 just straight to the next level 473 and if we break 473 then there's a likelihood of coming down to 461. So I gave you the levels of support, gave you what Nvidia could do tomorrow, um, considering this is the important level to watch, 479 area, the level. Again, this is a pivoting point, just like as it was yesterday as well, that I said, hey, if it's gonna go up, you just take your um, you know, profits there, or you take the intraday long play. So that was the play on Nvidia as well, guys. Um, nothing special uh besides that uh let's take a look at five minutes interval let's see how it did on our levels yes guys so that's why i say trade with these levels especially these day trading levels plus the orange lines you can see that when the price action started showing us this support right you play long right you are seeing hey price action is holding at these levels 
you play long, try to take some partial profits out at the next levels, and you make money. That's how it's done. Again, links are in the description below, guys, of my indicators. If you want to pause this screen, you can pause this screen. Uh, Discord link is also in the description below of this video, guys. Well, this is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.